Bonjourno, how are we all doing? We're chatting, who's in the chat? Oh, there's lots of people in chat. For those in, in my Discord, I've just realised that my Restream bot is sharing the Discord chat uh, into here, and I can't, <laughs> I can't stop it. So be polite, if you're in STB Live Show or STB Picks, uh, be very polite, because that is sharing the, um, the comments that you're putting there into the stream. So uh, be warned, people, be warned, otherwise I will ban you. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Yeah, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are uh, live. We're doing something a little bit different this week. We have got. I just want to get everything in place because ju we're just feeling we were just trying to go live on TikTok, but then we kind of didn't bother. This is Izzy. Look, and Izzy's not. You have to look at the camera uh, up I there. I don't look. know which one I'm looking at. You're looking at, at the camera up there, and we're live on <laughs> the old Instagram. We're gonna do something a bit different. Izzy's on for the whole show today, so we're gonna have a bit of banter. She's gonna keep me in check. She's got way more banter than what I have, so uh, she's gonna keep me in check there. Can we just do, because we've also got new microphones as well, so can you just, whoever's there, Pat and Claire, can you just let us know that the uh, the microphones are spot on, because we've now got two mics instead of one mic, so I just want to make sure that that's all, can't, that's all fine and dandy, and the other thing is we are streaming in full HD for the first time ever, so I just want to, cheers Pat, thank you very much, I just want to oh, make yeah. sure we are in high def. I don't know if I want to be in high definition. Which is awesome, <laughs> awesome, all good, all good. So today, um, I'm not sure if we're, I'm not sure if we'll do the porn star martini challenge today because you've already done it. Well, I've got the stuff there. It's ready to go if you want to beat your time. I want to beat. Oh, that all was right, kind okay, of the whole point okay, of it. So, so I beat my time. So we don't need to do it again. Basically, though. what happened? Uh, Hannah was due to come on. Hannah in customer services. Hannah was ill through the week. I'm not sure whether she's still ill or whether she's on holiday, but she's uh, she's not here. So she's coming on next week instead. So. Uh, Izzy's kind of been wanting to come on now and do a, a live show because she basically wants to take over from me. Uh, that's the thing. She's like, yeah, I'll kick, yeah. Him, kick him off, you know. So, <laughs> uh, so we're training her up uh, to come and have some banter, basically. So we'll go there. Hey, Phil on Facebook. Uh, see, this is what I can't see. Rachel's put good vibes. I don't know what that means. That's that's obviously a little emoji in the in the old restream chat. Okay. So uh, I can't, 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 can't. I can't. I've got to kill the restream. I'm really sorry. Uh, for the Discorders, but there we go. So today, what we're going to do, we've got like a little gin um, cocktail masterclass. Uh, I did a mojito masterclass last week, and that went down quite well. So I think going forward on these live streams, I'm just going to pick maybe a cocktail, maybe a theme, maybe whatever, and just kind of do uh, that going forward. So today, I'm attacking gin. We're going to start off with the basic gin cocktails, which are virtually identical apart from one ingredient. And it's, it's the masterclass that I kind of do on every hen party that I've ever done. Um, so we're gonna do the Bramble, the French 75, and the uh, Tom Collins. Uh, and then nice. time-wise, we will get onto the Bee's Knees, which is another great gin cocktail, and a gin sour as well. So it's plenty of gin. I've got lots of, you won't see them, but I've got lots of, I don't think you can see them. No, you can't see them. There, I've got lots of gins oh, no. down there. 
behind us. I've got a couple down here, and Laura's brought in, oh yeah, old school gins. Um, this is, uh, Tom, I know you'll never see this, but this is your 2018 edition, uh, Tom. <laughs> pre, pre, <laughs> pre, <laughs> pre, uh, pre uh, thingy leaving uh, as well. So Mr. Edwards, so we've got one, so it's a bit old. Um, it's not that it's a bad gin, I just, I just never drank it. And I've got my good friends down in Wrecking Coast, down, down in Cornwall, we've got uh, their honey and slow gin as well. Uh, so I've got plenty of there. And the whole reason the Christmas cake gin is is because you wanted a mince pie cocktail, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, mince I pie. I wanted a good Christmas cocktail. Yes. Damo, you're late. Terrible. How is it down in China, Damo, at, I can never remember the time difference, eight o'clock at night, maybe? Nine o'clock at night? I don't know. No, it can't be. It can't be that late. I don't know. So, um, if you've got any questions, just pipe up. Hello. Fans. <laughs> Keep me, ring me in. Bring me in, check. Um, and I'm not forgetting Instagram. I will keep an eye on Instagram as well. Instagram, I need to, we need to find out a way of like flipping the screen around so it's like the right, right way around. Do you know what? what? I actually can't read comments. I can't actually see who's. Can you on not see that? Can I'm, you see that chat? Yeah, but I, I need my glasses. Oh, I need to right. read further away because oh, no, it's right. it is a bit far. So if I look a bit funny, it's because I'm trying to read stuff. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's 9 p.m. here. Damo's in China, in Guang. Oh, can, I'm not even going to. Guangzhou. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we've got China. See, we've got China. We've got Pat in North London. We've got Claire down south. Who else have we got on? And we've got on quite, quite a few on. What international? So, so like, I'll give you a little guided tour of the dashboard. Up here tells us how many people we've got on. on uh, so we've got three on Face 8 oh, cool. and, and that. Uh, and that's, that's our little chat. And then we've got little overlays and captions here, look, so we can bring, we can do that. Well, that's fancy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is fancy. <laughs> we, can, we can do whatever's there. And then we can put people on screen, like, like Damo, we can give Damo a bit of love like oh, that. Oh, okay. It's 9 p.m. Cool. So it's, it's pretty basic. So. <laughs> pretty basic. <laughs> pretty basic, really, yeah, pretty basic. So, uh, gin cocktails. Um, I say, this is the, you know, when I do cocktail masterclasses, this is kind of the last one out of the three we do. We start off with the mojito, we do porn star martini, and then we do the gin cocktails. And gin one, you know, people, gin, this is the thing, gin is not really about cocktails as such they're very very basic it's the, you know you, you never see the fun fruity tropical gin cocktails you may be a little bit in tiki but they're all you know just age old things so we'll start off with the tom collins and what you'll very quickly see on the second and third one is they are virtually identical cocktails and normally when i do the cocktail masterclass i do all three at the same time but we'll do them individually here so we can kind of do little clips little uh, highlights stuff for that so we're going to start off with the tom collins now Tom Collins, if I remember rightly, uh, kind of invented late 18th century and uh, into the early 1900s. It's essentially um, the gin and tonic for tonic haters. That's essentially what it is. All right. Um, it's kind of, so it's kind of gin, lemon sugar and soda water. Soda water obviously hasn't got the bitter quinine involved. Uh, so it's a really kind of refreshing drink. Now, obviously, Tom rep uh, refers to Dutch gin the, the first style of gin uh, like the your neighbor gin so it's an old old sort of tom gin in that sort of respect um, respect okay kind of and i say that because dutch your neighbor gin was like the very first and then obviously we're big for london dry gin in the uk the bridge between it is old tom so old jock tom mm -hmm. is kind of like a without don't think gin liqueur but it's a right. sweetened gin so a London no, dry gin, a London, to give you the basics, like a London dry gin, yep. whatever goes into the still, so flames, heat, yep. so whatever botanicals and water goes in there, whatever mm -hmm. you collect, all she can add to that is water to bring it back down to dilution. So that's a London right. dry gin. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you add anything to it afterwards, it becomes a distilled gin. And that's essentially what an old Tom is. So right. an old Tom is essentially a sweetened gin. So mm -hmm. old Tom is the Tom Collins. However, no one bothers with that now. It's just whatever right. gin. So... I'm gonna, so you're going to make it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to really? talk you through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I've got an easy day today. I'm All right. Ready. So, what's your cocktail shaker of choice? Uh, well, last time I did per 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 Parisian. Parisian, that's the word. Do you want Parisian beer? Well, I do, but then I really struggle. If you have any tips on how to. Well, I, I, you, I, lost, one, I lost my Parisian virginity last week, was it? Or the week before? See, I quite like them. Yeah, there you can go. Well, we've got one of that at home, and we've also got the Boston. Boston. Boston one. Boston. But that's the one I struggle to take the. Well, they, we'll start off with we'll start off with the uh, Parisian. So if you've got any tips on how to do that, because I'm, so, I'm not going to lie, I'm not the strongest. So person, okay. So, so okay. So tips. Let's see. As we're in an in informative question, Damo, what's the stupidest? That looks good. Oh, hang on, I missed something about the backdrop. I'll show that in a minute. 
What's the stupidest thing you've seen being done to a cocktail? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what, like, put, I don't know. Like, what, put in a cocktail or made in a cocktail or I stupidest that, thing yeah. I've done? Things done, so I guess, like... I don't know. No, I I'll really think about that, Damo. I'll come back. Stupidest thing that I've ever seen done. Oh, we've got the questions. Part. Jackie says, look at that. So this is the second live show. Uh, we've now done that. The videos are pre-recorded. So I don't think the first video will come out until not Monday coming, but the following Monday, I think. I think. But I might be, uh, there might be one, because I filmed, I forgot one. So the custard one uh, yeah. on Wednesday may, so we might get one video and then it might go white background for two. And then we might get there. But yeah, it looks it looks cool. The funny thing is, it the wallpaper sort of stops just there. <laughs> and then it's white above it. But it looks cool, doesn't it? And what and splatters on it. We've got it? splatters, I know. That was I need to yeah. need to wash it. Um so yeah, thanks. <laughs> Who was that? Jackie. Thanks, Jackie. Oh look, the question's piping up now. Oh, uh, Instagram. I can't see any Insta comments on there. I can see a hello though. A hello. Pat, hello. how do you pronounce uh, your neighbour, like that, <laughs> or is that you doing, or don't, or she, <laughs> Pat, don't give me banter, Pat, so <laughs> it is, uh, it is your neighbour, I, I 100% know that, it is your neighbour, uh, however, in the UK, most of them will say Geneva, because, because they do, but it is your neighbour, your Dutch, your neighbour, Jim, um, with a J, even though it's spelled with a G, but it's Dutch, your neighbour. So yes, that answers that one. And for the record, it is Orgit <laughs> uh, on making cocktail. What's that? Stupid. And blocked. Why? What's? What have you blocked, Trevor? You're on Discord. I know you're on Discord, but I don't know what you've blocked. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So uh, going back to this very quickly, the whole Boston Shaker, right? The whole. I don't. Can you see that on there? Look down the camera. Yeah. So the whole the secret to the Boston Shaker is keeping a straight line down one side. Um. If you get it, if you get it so it's kind of like that, yeah. That's when it's really hard to break the seals. Right. Okay. Okay. So the whole trick is just keeping it straight down one side, and if you've got if you've got yeah. the finger guns like I have after years and years, it'll just yeah. pop out. However, right. however, bear in mind, there's no. It's no yeah, there's ice in there, in there's it, no yeah, seal to, to keep it. it. Yeah. Bear in mind, if, you, if it does get stunk, you see where the straight edge yeah, is. You, you twat it where it meet oh, down there and it'll just see, pop out. That is the but nightmare always, I have. The secret is just looking for that straight edge right. all the time. And, that, and that's what a lot of people do. Okay. They put it in okay. They put it in like that. So it's, yeah. and that's where you get the issues. That's the problem. But we'll see. Oh, so so that so might be so better then, because this one, obviously it grows in straight, It does, but then look, because that's kind of tape. that's kind of tapered away. Can you see it? So it doesn't kind of... I see. So you just have to not put it on too tight for it yeah. to then come off. That makes but sense. But then you have to put it on tight because you'll get the vacuum. Oh and yeah. if you don't do that, you'll right. get wet. So, right. yes. Right. <laughs> Trevor, did you, did you, Trevor, does that mean you've blocked the reach, the bot? If you've blocked the bot, that's awesome. Thank you. Because um, I needed to do that. Um, Damo, Damo. See, we get, lo we get lots of banter now. I've actually seen a classic martini being made in a blender. Oh yeah, so right, if we're going down that <laughs> route, yes, <laughs> yes. And the whole old fashioned, now we're going down that route, the whole old fashioned where they muddle like an orange and a cherry and that sort of stuff, I've seen that all the time. Um, blended mojitos, things like that, you know, nev never a good look, never a good look. There'll be more coming. I could tell you funny stories about what I've done to members of Bar Staff, um, like the Ice Cube stop check and like cling filming wedges of lime and all that sort of stuff. That We'll save that for a rainy day, but yes. Uh, there'll be plenty more of that coming. So, right, gin making? cocktails. So we're making. We're going to do the Tom Collins first. Yeah. The, the first one. So, uh, I've got lemons already pre-chopped here because I'm good like that. <laughs> so we've got lemons. Like so it. really, really for. I don't like it when it's got the seeds in it. You don't. Okay, that's fine. And that's that's. Sh that's okay. Don't, don't tell anyone. That's uh, that's last week's. <gasps> it's fine. Then. So we've got lemon. We've got sugar syrup. Uh, we have got some. I've got some fresh soda here. I don't know how fizzy that is, but. If it's from last week, not really. <laughs> I can hear a little fizz. I can hear a little fizz. It's just but water. We'll open. We'll open a fresh can of soda water. Or you've got Mediterranean tonic water. See, this Ooh, is the I thing. Oh, I like that one. See, this is the thing, right? <laughs> so I've got, I've, I've got so many different tangents on here. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, and now you've got the gin of choice. So this is your drink. So you can go your Christmas gin. I can't have too many drinks though. No, no, no. Just, just uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, Don't worry. So I've got all the Whitley right. Neils down there. Well, all of them. The ones I've bought in for a moment that have got anything. I've got Beef Eater uh, and I've got 
Gordon's and there's something there. Just while Izzy's choosing a gin. Could it just be any flavour? Any flavour you want. Oh, okay. Just while Izzy's choosing a the gin, there is a question that, who was it, if I remember rightly, Mandy. Mandy said, and this is a good opportunity for this, so this can be a good highlights reel as well. So uh, what is the best gin? So thank you, who's it, Mandy? Mandy Davis, thank you very much for this question. What is the best gin to use for cocktails? Now, to go classic, plain gin, of course she picked mango and lime, like that. <laughs> to go classic, plain gin, honestly, most bars, especially in the UK, and I think actually over in America now, in the States and maybe Canada, most bars up and down the country would go beef eater purely because it's high straight so it's 40 percent abv as opposed to gordon's which is 37 and a half so that extra two and a half will cut through the alcohol for us in the trade it is dirt cheap we'll be literally buying deals we'll literally be paying anywhere between 10 12 pounds plus vat so it's dirt dirt cheap but it is a cracking london dry gin with cocktails as soon as you add sugar to them and, and citrus, you're detracting from all the different botanicals that uh, some gins have. So all these uh, classy pretentious gins with like 20 botanicals, 25 botanicals, they become a waste of money when using them in cocktails like this. If you're doing a gin martini, though, for instance, where you kind of, everything's about the gin itself, um, then you can kind of go down those rabbit holes. But for like cocktails in that sort of sense, like the Collins, the Bramble, you just want a plain old good London dry. And I'll be honest, some of the supermarkets smash this. Sainsbury's, I always give this example. Sainsbury's, it's not taste of difference, but it is their taste of difference gin. It's called Black Fries Gin. I think it's 14 pounds, maybe 16 pounds a bottle. And it is amazing. It has won so many awards, San Francisco Spirit Awards as well, which is one of the big ones. It's won so many blind tasting awards and it's really good, really good. If you do want to go a bit more expensive than Beef Eater, then I would stop at Tankery. Not Tank 10, but just normal, normal Tankery. It would be roughly about 18 to 20 pounds a bottle, but honestly, for plain gin cocktails, Beef Eater or something like that. The difference being though, if you want a bit of fun and a giggles and something for taste awesome, as Izzy's just done, she's picked out, hang on, let's, I oh know we're still on there. She's just picked out, um, Whitley Neal's, one of their limited editions, their mango and lime gin. The flavour gins, any, when it comes to flavour gins, lime. anything is a go. The only caveat to that is don't use gin liqueurs. And I have got one here somewhere. Um, and I'll, we will test this later. But don't use anything like that. A, because they're sweet. B, because it's 20% ABV. You want something, sort of 40s, I mean this is what, 43%. You want something where the alcohol is going to kick through. So flavour gins, fine. Gin liqueurs, not so fine unless you're going to add like a london dry gin to them as well all right so uh, let's hide that from mandy brilliant that was a good question i like that chat we'll go back to the chat tim tim demo they're all chatting steve timmy k hello timmy k thanks for joining uh, <laughs> uh yeah wow, you can actually block people yeah no it's re it's restream it's um yeah so, as I said, guys, for those of you who just come on, I don't know why I've got to look at it. I was trying to be clever uh, for my Sunday live show, but I've completely forgot that this would happen beforehand. So, ignore in my in my personal thing, ignore that restream. Don't don't post in STB Live or um, STB Picks. Don't post there, and it won't share it. That's cool. Right. So, gin cocktails. There we go. Yep. Four ingredients. So, what was in that again? So, just plain sugar syrup. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can make this in your cocktail shaker. <laughs> um, so, your first ingredient you want is, um, you want a double bubble of, um, Bloody of gin. I'm going to, while we're there, I'm just going to try and go into my, my Discord now and just kind of turn it off if I can, uh, while we're there. So you want a double measure of your gin. That's all the way to the top, right? Yeah, all the way. So it's 50 mil. If you're in the US, 60 mil. Ding, ding. Cool. So that's your gin of choice. Mm -hmm. Now for... I'm going to put this back. Or shall I leave it out? Oh, no, put it back, that's fine. For um, Collins and stuff like that, we, you know, it's very, the sugar to the citrus ratio is very much on you, okay? I normally preach a two, one half, so like a daiquiri or a mojito in that sort of sense. So, but for, so for this, I would do 25 mil of lime juice, uh, of lemon juice. So, uh, you want that. You'll oh, probably, yes, on first. Yeah, okay. probably use that. I'm just in my Discord. I'm just going to try and, hang on, I'm just going to try and kill the bot if I can. How much would you like in So there? that that full, that full. little end's completely I mean, full. Do you know what? I was watching last week, and this is really hard to squeeze into this tiny, teeny little... Oh, no, it's fine. It's actually easier than I thought it was going to be. 
made him dramatic again. Um, right, I've, I've banned the re. Oh no, hang on. I'm going to kick the restream bot, so it should be it should be off now. Kick, uh, kick, and yes. So I think I've just fixed restream. So really, guys, I'm really really sorry about that. I'll come into my Discord for a minute. But is it just half a lemon? Awesome. Yeah, oh. should I put it in the bin? Yeah, just dump it down there. Hang on, and the pet pit. Cool. Look at that. Right, so pour that in. So we've got 25, so we've got 50 ml of gin, we've got 25 ml of lemon juice, and now sugar syrup, so half. Oh, so do you want me to do, do you want any pressures? Do you want me to do half? half? So I go up to that uh, third line there. So 15 ml. Wait, what do you mean the third? What here? Yeah, so one, two, right, three. Okay. See that? Wait, hang on, yeah. Bit more perfect. It's very right, syrupy, isn't it? Yeah. Is that just water and sugar? Sugar, yeah. So two parts sugar to one part water. See, because you know when I've made that at home, yeah. and it actually said to put it on the hob, is you that a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do if you want. I right. purely, I'll be honest, I just use a little jug, sugar, mm -hmm. kettle water, stir it, jobs are good. That's all I oh, do. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's easy. You do get, if you don't do it properly, you do get, I've just made that fresher. You yeah, I was going to say that's very like syrupy. I haven't, then. yeah, the syrup is fine. It's just oh, a little bit of sugar at the bottom. bottom. Just because I haven't dissolved it quick Yeah, and that's a scientific that's thing. It's that's I'm not going to get into it. But so, ice now. Fine. So, fill your cocktail shaker with ice. You can use Pete Tong or you can use oh, fingers. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna I've, be I've got Pete Tong now. Today, I'm going to be fancy. Going to be fancy. Ooh. Ooh. How many bits do I put in? Four and a half. That's a joke. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> fill it up. There you go. Oh, nope. yeah, bear in mind. Do it this. Oh, yeah, see, this is the thing with prisons. <laughs> this has got to go in as well, isn't it? All right, let me just do that. Yeah. Oh, hang on. So, oh, sorry, so, I stabbed you. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. That's it. Right, I'm going to make you shake Proper, this. proper welly. That's it. Is Look that down the camera. You've got no, to give I'm not bang those on. You've got to give bang those up. No. Do you know Grace didn't do it. I'm not doing it. Come on. Yeah, you do it for me. You do it for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready. Is it, is it cold? Is it cold so you can't yeah. hold it anymore? The one thing I didn't yeah, set yeah. you up with, I'm coming just here. I pick, didn't bring my glass through. Pick your... Oh, we get, no, we, we need it for a, next, for a cocktail yeah. in a minute. A highball oh. glass. What highball glass should we go for? We need a tall glass. I quite like that one. That I'm one, go for that one then. I mean, it's like you always pick them right before I'm yeah. about to. It just makes cool. it look like I've not made sorry, the choice sorry, myself. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, God. It's not high maintenance at all. Do you really want to go? <laughs> don't, don't you start I, with I'm me. I'm quite open to the fact I'm high maintenance. I don't care. Yeah, I, I am high maintenance, but this one, apparently not high maintenance. I'm not. You can ask James that uh, one. He said I wasn't. Timmy K, oh. double bubble. Can I? Yeah, hang on. Sorry. Why isn't 60 mil the official double bubble worldwide? It's because in the UK, we're 50 mil. Uh, and we're not like you guys over in the pond that are 60 mil. That's why. <laughs> right, so now there's two ways you can do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can pull that out. Go on. Yeah, I actually did. And then you told yeah, me to stop. On. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> See? Bang. She's got bands, isn't she? She's got good bands. Right, now. <laughs> What I love to do is add the fizzy stuff to the actual cocktail shaker. Okay. However, you can just pour that. Um, if, you're, if you're in a bar, for instance, you're going to charge money. What I would do is fresh ice in the glass, strain that into there, and then top up with soda water because you are charging money for it. If you're at home, however, what I, and to be fair, on events when I do that, I actually use the fizzy stuff and I just do a shake and dump with that. So, which would you prefer, proper professional or the home serve? I want to go professional. Proper professional. I feel like... Top, top your glass up with ice. Oh, okay, okay. Fresh ice. Just cool. So this, if you were charging like 10 pounds a cocktail, this is how you would do it. Ooh. Ice is very liquory. There you go. Do you know what? Yep. I'm going to have a little bit on top. A little bit on top, and we can always add a little Look bit more that. in a minute. So, now, Great. there is no right and wrong here. You can add the soda to that and still do that or you can pour and add the soda, it's, it's up to you. I kind of like adding the soda so it is pre-mixed. However, let's go Let's go old school. So just strain that in over the top. And the whole reason we use- so it doesn't fit. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's all right, it'll push in, it'll go in. No. It will. Yeah, see, there you go, there you go. Um, see, this is when I make the right mess now. No, no, it's fine. See, look at that, see, it's perfect, perfect strainer. That's why I use oh, it. All right, okay. So. Do you know what? I actually quite like that one. Yeah. That's why. That's yeah. why I won my strainer awards. Do you know, I was looking for strainers the other day. I did actually need ooh, need you for that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what strainers right. to go for. Uh, let's just give you another wedge of ice, and then whatever 
um, soda water, whatever mixer you want to do. Sure, I prefer I, say, I love using, I've said this time and time again, I love using Mediterranean tonic in these drinks. I think it just adds a whole different dimension uh, nice. to cocktails. And yes, this the Collins is traditionally soda water because it's the gin and tonic for tonic haters, but I just think Ooh. this is a cracking, cracking serve. So I potentially use half the can, no more, otherwise you'll dilute it a little oh. bit. To be honest, that so. is actually, I think, one of the things I do the most when I make a gin. I put too much tonic too much water mixing. in it. Okay. Uh, could you just whack us a nice orange? I forgot to prep the orange up. Hang on. That's a Lovely. nice orangey colour. Oh, it's got a funny bit on it. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll do it there. So in the garnish it's for this, I still haven't bought my cherries in from home. I keep forgetting. But the garnish for this is traditionally just like um, an orange wheel or an orange wedge and then a maraschino cherry. And that's your Tom Collins. Oh, am I supposed to drink this? Well, it's, oh. it's yours. I'm not going to try. I know what it tastes like. I've got to like. drive home. Well, don't, you, don't drink it all then. Just have a little sip. Wait, hang on. What if someone else wants this? Well, that's fine. <laughs> don't want to just don't get, let them drink out the straw. All right. We don't care. I don't care. Just share the love. That is actually really nice. It's good, It's quite it? strong, though. It's a refreshing drink. Well, just add more soda water. Mix cool. it. I'd actually could drink that, you know. It's a, it's a good drink. The Collins is just such a good, good drink. Mm. If anyone does want that, we'll, deca that we'll, we'll decant that in the, in the office. There's Ooh. not many people in the office on Fridays, but uh, we'll decant that and do whatever. So it that is quite strong. That is the Tom mm -hmm. Collins. Uh, I'll put this here. Georgie F. I can't really see it, can you? Georgie F. Georgie F. Cocktails are not good in Spain so far. You have made me a cocktail snob. Georgie F, you need to come. See, you could come in and do a live show. You're only flipping down the road in Bulldog when you're running. Do it live. Yeah. Do it. You should come in. She, George F's like a little mm -hmm. hair person. Not for me, obviously, but for <laughs> like you. So, for right. that. so yes. Uh, when are you back from When are you back from Espanol, Georgie? I'm assuming this weekend. So uh, let's just get rid of it. You happy with a shaker? You don't want to try a different shaker? I, will, I actually do want to try a different one. You're going to try a different one. Okay. Do we'll it. Get rid of this. I so. mean, for the Ponce Martini challenge, I might use that one. Okay. Because I feel like it's quicker to get off, but we'll see how I do with the other one. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So. Right, Try the next cocktail we're going to do is the French 75. This is where you need... This is where I need my glass. Go on. Oh, go Should on. I go get yeah, it? Yeah, I've got a microphone yeah, on yeah, there as fine. well. Okay, Don't, I'll take yeah. it with me. I just won't speak. If, yeah, if people shout at you in the office, that you'll, get, right. you'll get office chat now. So the, <laughs> the French... Um, what we're doing, the French 75 is virtually an identical cocktail. It's just instead of that, because it's off camera, instead of that, <laughs> it's just traditionally served up in uh, a champagne flute with Prosecco, Prosecco. Now I've got some, I've got some of my Prosecco. Here she comes, look. I giggled. Oh, we're going, oh, we've got one of those here. What? I've got a Hayworth. Are you joking? No, I just. No, you don't have it. I do somewhere, there it is. No, Stand you there, don't. I have one there, but anyway. Okay, you do. So. Um, ah, do you know what, this is a bit dusty, so I've got it. That's all right, you use no, that one, I've don't got it. You got it, fine, <laughs> fine. Uh, so the French 75, again, you so you pick a gin of choice for this, bearing in mind that this one's going with Prosecco. Oh, okay. So again, different gin. Different gin. Yep. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever flavours you desire. Sure, we'll I really. Oh, yeah. I don't think you have it. What? And there's every bourbon ginger, but. I haven't. I, I, you, I only had like a little dribble. I, there's a bottle over there, but it's literally only got a tiny, tiny dribble yeah, of gin. On. But yeah, rhubarb um, and ginger would be really, really good. Raspberry. What about raspberry? Raspberry, let's go sure, raspberry. I like let's raspberry and prosecco raspberry. as like a, yes. a pairing. So this nice. is, we're going to do like a standard French 75 now. So, hope, hang on. The, uh, so you, get, you want a we've different shaker. We've got an Instagram shaker. comment. Have we got an Instagram we've, we've comment? Instagram. Well, we have. Yeah. Lauren, I oh, know, Tomo. Tomo wants to be, who's Tomo? Oh, no, hang on, Tomo, French Who's Tomo? 2810. Do we know Tomo? So I'm, I'm a little bit blind because I can't actually Tom, read Tom who it Tomo 2810. I don't know who Tomo is. I can't really see who they are. Like, I can Tom see o people popping up, but... I'm just thinking, do we know if we've got someone's surname Tomo? Is that someone in the gang? Someone wants to be in our video. They've got a request to be in our video. I don't know how to do that. I'm not down with the kids. Oh, really? I'm not on the Instagram lives. Yeah, so... Um, so, yes. Very fun. Anyway, hello, Tomo. Thank you. Um, I can't even see whether you're... It looks like it's a female. Melissa. Oh, I can see Melissa. Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Who's Melissa? <laughs> Melissa is my brother's girlfriend. Brother. Brother's right, girlfriend. okay. That got me confused. Like, like sister-in-law kind sister of thing. Sister-in-law? Well, they're not married. Whoa, so whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa. No, hang on, no, whoa, no, whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> subtle hints going no. on there, look. Well, Melissa and I hang are on, on the same page. Hang on, is that a subtle hint <laughs> to your boyfriend or your brother? Brother, like not my boyfriend. So oh, okay. He knows, he knows where he's at. <laughs> okay, he knows, where he, he knows where he's at. Hello, who was it? Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Right, so... 
Uh, so e exactly the same sort of thing then. So let's just put these to one side. So we start off again mm -hmm. with your lemon. Yeah. Uh, wherever your jigger is, your jig is there. So it's the same oh, sort wait. of thing. Oh so yeah, I see what you so mean. So 25 mil of yeah, lemon. I've got more, I've got plenty more lemons here. Okay. Right, here we go. I just can't get the, I have to use two hands just to get it. And then I can, because it's quite a wide, I don't have it that is. wide a hand. I'm not very strong when it comes to this. You've not, you not got guns? Not really, no. You have. Look at them. Go on. Hang on, a bit more. Go on, give it some, give it some welly. Last bit of... <laughs> because this is, this is where James comes in handy. James. Good old James. Oh, he's very handy at making cocktails. Is he? Yeah, he is actually. What's his best cocktail to make? What's his? He makes a really good... Um, oh my God, I'm going to forget what they're called. Mexican mules. Mexican mule. Ah, tequila and ginger. So good, yeah. yeah. He likes his tequila, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, that'll do for tequila. Oh, tequila. We need to give a shout out Speaking to Matthew. Uh, Matthew from Savora. If I said that right, Savora Drinks. Uh, Matthew from Savora Drinks got in touch. Uh, who did he get? Was it you or was it Laura? Laura. Laura. He got in touch with Laura. Yeah, so pour that in. Uh, he's got a, a send of the samples. He's got a really cool tequila mixer. Um, it's basically, I forget what it is, like, like a lime, agave kind of thing. So basically it would be a long margarita mixed drink. So we are looking forward to receiving some of those, uh, Matthew. We've got our tequila because we've been working with Tiempo. Uh, is that finished now? Is that finished? Uh, I'm in the way. Tiempo. We've been working with Tiempo. Um, so yeah, so the competition would have finished yesterday. Finished I yesterday. Think. So it's like a competition with drink stuff in Tiempo. It's not 100%, I think. So yes, Matthew, if you are watching Savora Drinks, we will be looking forward to checking that out very, very soon. Now, there is another way we can go from this, and I'm not sure I've got some here. This would be, I'm not sure what's still in the studio. No, I haven't got any. Have I not got elderflower cordial in? Um, is it over in the... I've got pear in elderflower. Is it over there? In no, the, on the shelf? no, that's why I haven't got elderflower. I've got that. Now, here's the other thing you can do with the cocktails and all that. Yes, you can swap out the gins oh, and the nice. Prosecco. You can also swap out the sugar syrups if you want. Of course you can. So the cordials, uh, they're just Ooh, sugar syrups. Nice. So when you go to your local supermarket, and the, the one I was looking for is like that. That's the famous one in the UK you get. If you've got like a, the elderflower bottle green, for instance, they make brilliant sugar. Well, even this does. This is like blackberry sugar syrup. They just make cracking cocktails. So you can use, this is up to you. This is your cocktail. Yeah. You can go plain sugar with that, or you can go to pear and elderflower, or you can go bramble, or you can do whatever. You, we've got, we've got all these, look. Look, custard, rhubarb, Ooh, rhubarb. Oh, bacon. Ba I'm wiser you up. Bacon um, and raspberry. <laughs> Might be a nice mix. Do you know, I really, I'm not a fan of like a bramble bramble kind of flavour. You're not? Well, Because that's I mean, cocktail number three. Um, I forgot to get the shampoo. I'll get the shampoo back oh, in a minute. But <laughs> in the van. I'll drink it anyway. So um, yeah, I think I might go for this. Yeah. Just because I don't want to put too many berry kind okay, of flavours in Okay, that's cool. There. So, so the only thing I will say with this, if we were doing, so we would go, we would go identical to what we did in the first one. So a two one half ratio. So if we did 25 mil of lemon juice, you would do 15 mil, 12 and a half, 15 mil of sugar syrup. The only, now, it would be the same for the bottle green stuff. The bottle green stuff is very punchy. It kind of, when you dilute it, it goes one to 10. The thing I found with the Robinsons, they are a bit weaker. They actually recommend one to six. So you kind of have to play about with your ratios a little bit when using these. So they're not quite as punchy in flavor when mixing with like the Monins or whatever. So for this one, I would go 25 mil. Okay, so the same amount. Okay. Yeah. So three. Oh, all the so, way to the top. Yeah, all the way to the top. All the way to the top. So instead you know of fifteen, what? I just get, I get a bit. bit and a little bit for the bar. Oops. <laughs> See, that's a good. That's a great outtake for the YouTube. That's brilliant. We like that. Thing is, I actually had to stop myself from saying. If you want to wash word. yourself, just go around the other. other yeah. Side do you know what? Well. I actually might. You yeah. just talk it's, for a bit. There's <laughs> plenty. There's plenty of. Uh, it's hot soapy water. How did I uh, manage that? that <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the only thing I'm saying. It's the bottle greens. I would use identical ratio to any of the Monins, the William Foxes, the ODKs. I would do like 15 mil. Uh, but when it comes to these Robinsons cordials, and I think the supermarket, like Tesco's, have got their own brand. Just up them slightly. Just have a look at the bottle. If it says like one to six, uh, then go 25 mil. If it says one to 10, then I would go um, less, all right? So that's just a great little tip there. So we've got a sugar. Now we want our gin, our double bubble of our gin. Just give me a minute, it's just a bit sticky. <laughs> Try, is that sticky? That lovely sound. Is that sticky? <laughs> Not sticky anymore. There we go. Yeah, but now it's gonna have so <laughs> soapy water. No, it? it's not. Yum. Look, look at that. <laughs> no, it's not. Hygiene. Dishwater. Right. So double bubble, double bubble of your raspberry. Why didn't gin. smell this? Hang on. Yum. Uh, 
it's sad that I can't get the OBK. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, what's what's it's George saying? Enjoyable. I can't I can't see you both, but I can hear you. But I'm in Spain, so that may be why. Yeah, we we don't have a license in Spain, Georgie. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know why you can't see us. That'll be your internet connection. I'm assuming everyone else can see us. Right, uh, demo. Uh, I really need to get me a squeezer. Poor hands are suffering at the moment. And Timmy K, sad that I can't get OBK. Right, so we've got that. Now, yep. same sort of thing. Ice, because obviously we don't shake anything fizzy. Do you know what? I'm just, I'm going You're in. just going to use hands. That's no, fine. actually, no, I'm That's not. Because it's a bit, you can't it's really be fine. as delicate. What's a delicate? Being professional today. Yeah, being pro. You see, I did. So Grace was right about the tiptoe thing as well. I know. See, I hadn't thought of that. This is quite a high bar, though, to be fair. It is. But I do like our bar. It's very sturdy. No, right. Oh my god, so, I'm it the wrong way. No, 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 it's fine. So, because that goes on the top. So, remember what I said? Find the straight edge. Always make sure it's a oh, straight edge. Of course. Edge. It's yeah? a different, yeah, my yeah. hands done a bit. And just pop it on. That's it. And then give it a good. That's it. Now, when you shake flip the boss in, flip it upside down. Because, do you know what? This is harder than the other one. Because when you do shake, yeah. if it does come, it, it won't come apart. But if you do, if it does, you always push yeah. the small end inside the bit. So in the, it'll only come to bits on that. It won't come to bits on that. Actually. Oh yes, it won't go. So yeah, so over the wall. There you go. Excellent. You just got to give this proper proper way. Do you know what I realised? It's, it's like a core workout. Yeah. Do you know what? This is. This is the big question I get every single week. It's like, oh, Hang Steve, on, my, my porn star martinis don't look like yours. And all it is is the shake. Hang on. It's got nothing to do. She's, she's too shy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a jump. <laughs> all it is is the shake. Look. Right, I think that's good enough. Look, this, for me. this is the difference. Like, proper, this is for demo. Oh. Proper belly. Oh, look out. Boss man's, boss man's got on here now. Look, what's Boss man saying? I don't know what a great idea is. I think I've missed the comment. Is boss man speaking to it? We could oh, hang on. We've got to dive into the comments. Carl, there it is. That's the comment I want to oh, see. That's What's clever. Carl saying? What's thinking if with each cocktail you make, would you drink stuff, put a package together for ingredients? Well, funny you should mention that. Boss man. <laughs> <laughs> who who came up with that idea first? <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good one. Right. Right. Now you've got to get this. See, I just Ow! Oh my god! Oh, so where, where the seal is oh. down there? <laughs> I was just trying to slide that away. But, but make sure that's. Okay, sense ball. Yeah. Wait, how would I do this? No, I don't want you to show me because I want to just. Oh, we did there it! You go. See? See? Look at that! Look at the excitement on our face because when she I did it. I try to do that all it's the like, time. It's like when you learn to drive for the first time. Right now, Oops. this one because because this oh, is all pretentious strength. and stuff into a martini. Well, we're going martini. Too. You would go champagne flute, you would go coupe glass, you would go martini glass for this. It this is one of my favourites. Doesn't really matter. So this is a double strain, <laughs> ambidextrous, ambihandstrous, this is what I like to call it. I can do this, so yep. this is something go, I can go, go. do. So we double, double strain. Ooh. Awesome. And then I think we I broke the ice up too much, is that a thing? No, that's, that's fine, that's why we double strain. Oh, I see exactly what yep. you mean. I so know. we get all okay. the tiny, and we double strain, sorry, we double strain to get rid of all the tiny little ice crystals. Do you all know right? what, I always, I did think that, but, you know, just having and a, then, oh, I should have used the other one because it's got a stick Yeah, that's right. And then just top up with Prosecco, Come obviously on, not to the brim with the martini glass because, you know, when you're walking along, if it's up to the brim, it'll, it'll top off. I'm going to go with that's enough. Yeah. And, and if someone does want that, fine, have a little sip out does of it. Does it have a garnish or anything? I, traditionally, I would garnish that with raspberries, like maybe a oh, raspberry like a, kebab or oh, nice. fruits for drinks. Here's a shout out for fruits for drinks. <laughs> I don't think we've got the raspberry ones here. We have I don't know if anyone's noticed, they're all the same. But we have raspberry and blueberry here. Is that, is that have we got? But there might be, I don't, no, no, oh, this, is this right? That one's open. I don't, see all the berries have come out and it, this is just flipping limes. Oh, this isn't the right, what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, it's because I opened I the think thing. Whoever's opened these uh, from. That's got raspberries in it. Well, I say that, but whoever, whoever's opened these, uh, I <laughs> think, taken has, uh, all the has taken, it's taken all the decent fruit and left the oranges you know and what? limes. I would it. just like to garnish it with a raspberry, that's all. Just one. Yeah, see, I've got, I've got none. Really? It's all, it's all flipping lemons, look. Oh. I don't know. I don't know I don't know who opened these, but yeah. Can I do uh, this straw thing? Yeah, but yeah. Then I don't, not yeah. gonna lie, I don't really want to do that on camera. I don't think it'd be very um, well, ladylike, well, will if it? You, if you want, if you want to, oh, oh look out, the door's tester. coming. Hello. Oh, this is, Hang we've on. got a chief taste tester in, in the house. This is not that, I'm here to talk to you about fruits and drinks. Okay. These are old packages, but they're good, they're pretty new, these. Oh. 
These are just there you for heard. Okay. Because oh, Izzy's, yeah. Izzy's mic'd up now, so you've got that. You've oh. got that. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you got Laura. But yeah, so we, we do all of these. They're all really up-to-date fruits for drinks. So these are just some old sample packs. Don't, so make don't listen fruit. to her. Fruit, fruits for drinks. I'm like, what were you thinking? Why have you not put any different fruit in there? Fruits for drinks. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm joking. and I'm joking. I'm getting, I'm getting hand signals <laughs> over there. Where are those glasses from? I don't know. Where are the glasses from? Yeah, uh, yeah, Utopia. Yeah. Holy right, I'm doing, I'm this doing is like, it. This is turning into like a sponsored video, isn't it? Flipping Nora. Yeah, so <laughs> you took you to for yeah, the sexy yeah. glasses, but you know, you guys that watch my videos, I always shut my mouth. And yes, uh, like just to make that crystal clear, the fruit is, is us. It's like whoever opened them at our end. Not, not fruits, for, fruits for drinks, obviously, put the raspberries and the blueberries in there. So <laughs> yeah, whoever, they're, they're so whoever opened them at our end that took the, fruit, the strawberries and the raspberries and all that out, that's all. That's all. That's really nice. Do you like that? So, I tried a little bit with my straw. So which one do you prefer? Do you know, I actually think I prefer this one because it's got that like lemony prosecco -y taste to it. prosecco -y taste. Yeah, but I don't, do you know what though, actually? I don't think I taste the taste of the raspberry. Gin. Like the raspberry gin. I don't know. Hang on. Pour a little bit in there. I'm gonna have to pour a little bit in the tasting yeah, cup. Like I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. no, I bet. Just grab that little pack of, um, oh no, what am I talking about? Sorry. Yeah. Oh. That's, why, that's why I got all these. We've got tasting glasses. Little spillage, but there we go. That's I mean, fine. that's a bit too much, but well, that's, well, that's you know, that's a whole cocktail. Go on. Oh, I've got the raspberry that time. Yeah. Mm. It's actually really nice. So you call that? What do we call it? It's a raspberry it's a pear and, and elderflower. elderflower. Uh, French. It's got that in it. Can you get the pear and elderflower? Do you not? Mm. Subtle. Yeah. Really, really like faintly, but I really don't know if that actually overpowers. Is it the over sweet? Let me get. I forgot. No, it's not over sweet. I forgot I had these. It's not over sweet. It's got like a soury taste to it. It's quite nice. Mm. And the smell. I get the pear and elderflower. Oh, that is really nice, actually. Yeah. Should we just drink that? <laughs> let's have a chat. Let's just say a drink. Yeah, let's have a chat. <laughs> Boss, boss man, I'll never know. It's not like he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so what was up here? So what do we need to get on to, Carl? Cheese boy? Cheese boy, what do we need to do? I was thinking, of each cocktail you made, would drink stuff put a package together for all the ingredients, alcohol at a discount price? Well, obviously they don't sell alcohol at this precise, precise moment for a discount price. Look at that, cheese boy, flipping discounts. Ignore the discount price, you can pay full price, of course you can. Uh, we could, what's, what's Paul saying? We could create an easy to add landing page, could speed things up. He's all full of the ideas, isn't he? <laughs> Hell, what we're watching before? Oh, we know what that's it. He's he's taking he's, he's still I still haven't got the strawberry puree back though. You know oh, that? You yeah, know that's that? true actually. <laughs> strawberry daiquiris. I'm into the strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Georgie. What the yellow pages? The yellow pages are tiny now. What? Oh, so the bar, the height oh, of the miss, bar. Oh no, sorry, Miss Carl. That, that's why. Look, Carl, so they get the yellow pages for many people. <laughs> is this what, though, is the yellow little... pages still a thing? Yeah. Do you remember Thompson? How old? Do you remember Thompson Local? Oh yeah, no. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't remember Thompson Local. Thompson Guides. No, I don't. We've um, had this discussion about me not knowing things. Just before you say it wasn't me. So, hey Louise, how are you doing? I'll be up for popping in. We could do that. We could. You could like cut my hair, maybe. You could cut my I've got, hair. I've got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, jo so Georgie is. So she's. We'll give Georgie a shout out because she's in Bulldog and she's got like a. a a hairdresser, a salon, that's the word I'm looking for. But she's uh, like setting up a little cocktail bar thing in the, um, that's why I'm not shouting her out because she cuts hair. I'm shouting her out because she's got, got, got a little cocktail bar and it's called the Tipsy Bubbles. I think it's right, isn't it? Tipsy Bubbles? Something like that. So when that gets sorted, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Carl has put it, uh, could have Steve's cocktail you know, We actually do have a newsletter that goes out yes, at the beginning of the week, which then tells you what ingredients you need and what cocktails yes, are going to be made. Yes. So you can sign and up for that. I'll and how do they sign up to that? I'm trying to think. And there's a little link in every single video. That oh, I've is, there, is it? Well, I didn't know if that had been added yet. <laughs> so there's a link in every single video that is uploaded by Steve on our YouTube channel. So yes, <laughs> if I, when I get to it, it'll be the pinned comment on certainly the, the videos of the last week. I have started to go back through some of the older videos. But the pinned comment under every vi video will take you to a link uh, where you sign up for the newsletter, which isn't about selling you stuff. It's a different newsletter. It's all about like the cocktails yeah. and the uh, the live show. 
So, and the short link for that is uh, stblive.uk forward slash hook me up, all lowercase. So my normal short link, STB Live, because Drink Stuff don't have a short link. Uh, so I've used mine, stblive.uk forward slash hook me up. And that'll sign you up to the newsletter that's purely about cocktails and the live show, not about selling other bits and bobs, all right? We do have a newsletter for that as well. Yes, <laughs> we do have a newsletter for that, but we're not here to sell you stuff. We're here to give you serving inspiration. Where's my mug? Oh, my mug's gone here. Serving inspiration. Cool. I don't know, but I do have a water glass. Oh, well. yeah. Has it got serving? It has got serving inspiration. You can't can actually we? see it, though. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> can, we, can we see it there? Because you can see my fingerprints all over it. It's That's all right. Let's serve in inspiration. Can you see that, look? That's all right. No one's going to clone your fingerprints, no, are they, from the that. live stream? No, it's not It might look dirty. That's all I'm saying, OK? <laughs> Sorry, we're forgetting about you, Instagram, as well. Sephora Drinks is on Instagram. There they are. Hello, my friend. So How are you? Coffee. You need to come and join us on YouTube. It's only you know, like random people on uh, Instagram. YouTube is the place <laughs> to come and be and hang out. So, hello, Matthew. Uh, coming into... Yeah, Matthew, come, come, and, slide, come and slide into our <laughs> YouTube DMs. Just having a clear up. <laughs> Just having a little clear. This is the thing, isn't it? Right, so uh, before, Ooh. do you want to do the porn star, Martha? Do you, you want to do the porn star? I do a little bit. Just yeah. so. Well, that's fine. We've, we'll finish off. We've got the bramble to do, yeah? Yeah, okay, let's do so that. So if you do, uh, while I have a little wash up, the little baby bottle of Chambord on that on uh, thing over there, I'm just going to have a quick, quick little wash up. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going to do um, the, the third cocktail in this trilogy. Um, because these go together, they're identical ingredients, gin, sugar, lemon, and a different ingredient, okay? So that's why we do the French 75, the um, uh, the Bramble, and the Collins. So, now. Might uh, be small as well. Yeah, that's all right. It's only, they're only little baby bottles. So uh, regular yeah, viewers are, of mine will know that I use Giffard Frambard de Ronce, which is a Tay Berry liqueur, hands down. I'm not here to slag other brands off, but, you know, Chambord is a great liqueur, uh, it's just it's just no Giffard from and that's Steve the barman speaking not drink stuff <laughs> so, this is quite tasty actually I quite like yeah, uh, so that's which time. cocktail shake are you using this time oh this is a hard choice do you want, do you want to try the trilogy do you want to go no for definitely not you don't want to go for no, that one but do you know what every single time I've ever made a cocktail in a couple of shaker is that the right one yeah, yeah. well done oh, thank you um, yeah it goes stuff. absolutely everywhere on the floor do you want do you want to try it though not really no you don't want it you don't want it no thank you no okay <laughs> Fine. Fine. I would like the. No pressure here. Do you know what? I found that easier to shake. The Parisian. So I'm going to go for the Parisian. There's a, I need to go and raid Tony's uh, showroom again because but there's a couple of different. Oh, we've got the other one. I'll tell you what, actually. Sorry. Would you like me to go grab the there's, other there's one? There's that, that other Parisian right at the back there, that silver. I've not yeah, used I've that because that looks a bit fatter. And I don't know. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what the lid's like in this. Uh, is See, I think, oh, I think this might have been taking some, yeah. It, that's it needs a little wash up. That's had a, um, what is the cocktail? Coffee, it smells very coffee like, so I'm guessing. Wow, we're over. Kind of so I don't know whether that's any, well, I'll give it a Do little wash up. Do you know what, I think it? I prefer this because it's, so, it's while more, I'm washing it up, fits my hands oh, you're, better. You're gonna, I'll tell you what, I'll wash up this thing first. So while you're doing, uh, you want another 25 ml of lemon juice. I'm doing this all on my own, Steve. Oh. That's all right. <laughs> you want to take over the show. Well, this is what I'm saying. The, the Izzy happy hour. Do we like the Izzy, the Izzy and Steve happy hour? Do we like this or is it, you know? Or am I is boring? She, is she <laughs> adding to the experience or is she detracting from the experience? I think adding. She's got she's got plenty of banter. I'll give her that. I think I'm adding to it. Just Paul, what do we reckon? Boss man, what do we reckon? Adding to it. <laughs> uh, 25, you said. Yeah, 25. So a whole, a whole do there. So the bramble. Oh, damn it. I didn't get any crushed ice out. Never mind. Oh dear. Right, that is. So that ends. You, you know what? I'm not a fan of crushed ice. I know you okay. say it's good, but it just. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. That's I fine. feel like it melts too quickly. Okay, that's fine. So you can use that end. I just need to wash up the um, this end as well. So I'm using this end. Yeah. So that's the base of the prison. So we've got 25 okay. minutes of that. Now for the bramble, I would use normal plain sugar syrup for this. You can go crazy that's different flavour so if you want to, but I personally would. And 15. So the third line again. Do you know what? I actually feel like I'm learning something. Well, that's why, that's why it's called a masterclass, isn't it? It's a cocktail masterclass. Well, 
I was planning on making some cocktails tonight because I've got Jack and Melissa coming around. Oh, for dinner, so Jack and Melissa. Who are Jack and Jack Melissa? Is oh, my we've brother, met Melissa. And then Melissa has seen my. Okay, you can put them to the test. Right. So we've done that. We've done that. Oh, gin. Now I would go plain gin for this if okay. I'm being brutally honest, because we're going to let go the blackberry, the blackberry tradition. Bramble is obviously about blackberries. It's you know, it's not, it's not Shamble. Shamble is a black raspberry liqueur. Um, so we kind of would use a creme de mure, but we've got shambled in this case. So double bubble. Double bubble. Yeah, <laughs> double bubble. Well, I've got to say it at some point, haven't I? Who's cooking? Uh, well, it's a bit of both. So I do the sides. James does the steak. Ooh. So who does the chips? Well, I do because that's part of it. So oh, is that I side, make is it? them. So I like. So sides. What sides? I kind of do crispy potatoes instead. So that's literally like chopping oh, up potatoes gosh. and then you like let it soak. Put paprika like. I think oh, it's garlic. Is it garlic granules? You know when you get yeah, it in like a little thing, it like yeah. comes out over the top, salt, pepper, obviously, and then put it in the oven until they're like crispy. They're wow. really good. Wow. And I just did that I one day. I, I, like. I haven't had it for ages. Like Cajun, uh, like a little bit of Cajun on, yeah. on wedges and stuff. I don't like too much spice. Did I? Did I do that? I think. I yeah, I think you did. I'm yeah, you did up to the much. 15 mil. Um, right. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's. And cream spinach, which is Ooh. a flat iron recipe actually, oh. but it's really good. Like it's really. Well, I say it's easy to make. See, it th is easy, this could be the whole like cocktails and cooking show. Yeah. Paul, how do you feel <laughs> about getting a, like a little like upgrading Sorry. your studio into like a little kitchenette type thing? We could have like little pans and stuff like that. Look, yeah. You know. I think cocktails and cooking. Oh. Well, we could have. Like, oh, like we would. This is so. This would be next level. What's it called? Um, Saturday kitchen. Oh, I like it. Saturday kitchen, kitchen and James Martin. This is next level because of mm. cocktails, obviously. You know. Brilliant. Happy days. So, right, now look. Now I'll be, we have shampoo. I'll be brutally honest. The whole point of the bramble, it's shaken like that. So you shake the gin, lemon and sugar. Oh. Um, okay. And then you pour it over the crushed ice because the whole mm. point of the stack is it's drizzled through the crushed ice to give it that effect, Do which you know looks what? cool. Yeah? That sounds better than what but, I've had. But, but, at the end of the day, after like two minutes, the shampoo is going to be blended into the drink anyway. If you're at home, the chances are, A, you haven't got crushed ice, and B, you can't be asked to do that anyway. So the chances are, you're gonna make it like Izzy's got now, because I haven't got any crushed ice out. I completely forgot to get crushed <laughs> ice out, so, I mean, my bad. I knew there was something I forgot, I knew there was, but there we go. So, what I would do now is 15 mil of Chambord in there. So third line again. So they're five mil increments in that end. Oh, hang on, which five, one did I just do it up to? Yeah, so that one. Perfect. There we go. Fifteen. Now, bear really in mind that'll be a oh, sweet. Yes, so that'll be a sweetness five. thing as well. All right. So, if you want it slightly more fruitier, more sweeter, add more shambles. It's that simple. Okay. So, ice, ice, oh, ice, ice, baby. What, dun, 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 dun. what? I actually keep like forgetting that I've poured it in. That's all right. That was so stupid. People do that. It's fine. <laughs> no, I've done it like three times in a row now. I feel like chatting away to you. It's good though. It's good. It's good chats. It's good chats. Got lots, plenty of viewers in. Oh, Famous right, still there. Mm -hmm. This is one drink I need to try. I'll make the desserts. Cheese boy. Yes, you need to get cheese boy in for the desserts. What about cheese board? We forgot why he was called cheese boy. It's because he likes cheese, isn't it? I think it was that yeah, simple. Yeah, that's why I said about the I think it was that board, simple. So, uh, now I need to it's that one. It's that one, wasn't it? No, it's oh, no I've just washed it. Oh, through. okay. Yeah, it's the different one. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're right. using it. So we want to see whether this Parisian, because I never did the Parisian oh, test. Mark on it. We wanna, this is Izzy's professional opinion. We're going to see if that Parisian is better than this Parisian. Which it's pr too, the thing is, I have smaller hands, so I think this is where I'm going to struggle a little bit with this one. So this one I can hold better. Side by side? Mm. See, it's littler. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, a little, little bit, a little bit, little bit. See, we like this. This is what we're here for. We're debunking myths and things in malarkey. So, yeah, proper. I'm just going to give it a shake. It might be I'm a bit I'm going to stand over here. Why? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going like to whack I don't know. Oh, shit, it is a bit. I just can't shake it very well. What's the stance? Yeah, so if you start, if you stand like that, you get the, you get the, I call it the truffle shuffle. When it's a lot of effort, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I think I'm done now. Yeah, is it cold? Yeah. So you can't hold it anymore. Is it no. like frosty bottom? I want to give, oh, it's quite cold. It is cold. Yeah. It's very cold. It's not like right. I don't like it, it's right. just cool. very It's proper cold now. Oh, I, yeah. like, I like that for cold. Like, do you Ooh. know what? I don't mind it, but I just, it gets under your bones right. and it's like, ah. Right. Too cold. So, go on then. You've now got to try and get those bits. Oh, okay. Because that's how that's how part of the test, isn't oh, it? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's fine. She yeah, did okay. okay. 
come on. Do you know what? I might I might be converted into a prison shaker. Really? I don't know. I'll have to Ooh. get I'll have to get some scientific tests. Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna stay, I'm not even gonna look, but you want a rocks glass. I don't want to influence your decision in any way or form. Oh. You want a rock like a whiskey tumbler, rocks glass. Yeah, I know I'm just And I'm getting I'm getting abused for pointing the glass out before she picks what? it up. I'm so gonna I'm just gonna stand over here. The, the problem is with this, Steve, is that you have actually mentioned that you like this already, but I liked the glass first. So <laughs> Oh, I unwrapped them with Laura, didn't I? Come on. Come on. Uh, just double check I'm making the right decision here. Are you going for that one? I'm going for this oh, one. Oh, see, see, I had a rant no, about this. This is, this. So this is the one. video I, I filmed the other day. I had a little rant about that. It's called. It's here. Oh. Look, it's called. It's called a Hayworth stemless gin balloon. Yeah, so it is actually it's supposed to be a. It's like gin, gin and tonics. Glass, it's like 2016. We're calling that a spritz glass, or in this case today, we're calling it a bramble glass. To be fair. But the spritzes, you know, you don't want, who has gin and tonics these days and gin balloons? They're, they're old, I do. They're old out. They're no, I like a gin balloon. If they had this on a, like, that would be, like, right up my street. What, on a on a little thing? Yeah. So if it looked like. Yeah, I know, yeah, on a stem, like well, a. I don't know, we haven't got one, but kind of, so if it was like that, that would be, oh, hello. Oh, look at We've just that. invented a new glass. <laughs> there you go, Utopia, you can have a commission on that. I'll take, I'll take 5% off the top. I quite like that. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Although I might sell it, so that's not. Um. Okay. So I guess I need to strain this. Laura, Laura's going to come in now and go, you do realise they do have that on a stem, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so they might do. I've just now, look, not checked let, recently. Let's be honest. Brambles, as I said, you would strain it over crushed ice, top up the shambles. This ice is going to be crushed. Yeah, it's, it's up to you. You can do, if well, you're at home, people are going to shake and dump. If, if you want to do the whole fresh ice is, again. Is this controversial? I, no, this is, if, this cocktail's so all about putting your spin on them. Single stroke, because there is actually a lot of crushed kind of ice okay. in this. So you're gonna... If I sing, sing, single strain, is yeah. that the right? Yeah. Would that be okay? Well, single strain, because the coi the, the springs aren't that tight on the coil, yeah. you might still get a little bit of ice in there. So yeah, yeah, that's what I want. You want a little bit. Ice. Okay. I was, I was trying to be smart. Did I not? Yeah. Did I not? Well, no. <laughs> or you could do... You know what, Just I'm going to do it, I don't care. <laughs> I haven't got one. Let's see, shall we? Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, no, that wasn't good. That yeah, wasn't see good. what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I've ruined it. No, that's fine. Oh, well. That's fine. <laughs> but ju just for giggles, the bramble would normally get served up in a glass like that, completely filled with a dome of crushed ice over the top and then the shambled dribbled on the top there. Do you know what? Though? But the cocktail's all about reinventing at, your, at home, aren't they? So wait... <laughs> So you can put ice in there this if you want. Be quite you can. Is you that can, it? That's it. <laughs> that's it. But it is, you know. So that is twenty-two no, ounces. No, you put ice a in pint it, glass. You? A pint glass is twenty ounces. So and that's twenty-two ounces. Okay. Do you know what? I'm just gonna. Yeah. Whereas, whereas that is what? like twelve ounces. So that's like nearly. It doesn't look it, but it's like half the size ish, uh, give or take. Is anyone gonna drink this in the office? I don't know. I'm gonna have a little. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, did I just no? And I'm going to have a little, a little, a little sample out of there. There's plenty of uh, glasses I'll behind you down there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> See, I, I do like a bramble. I'm not really a gin cocktail person, but I do like the bramble. Do you know what? That is nicer than ones I've had before. Yeah. But then I think the ones I've had before, I don't actually They're remember where I had too one. Too sweet or too. It was actually too sour, and the berries were like, I say it just didn't have like the nice, I had like a, a weird taste to them. Yeah. Like quite so a wooden taste is, like they weren't. is good for, for this. Uh, you know, I know I do have some fun. I do moan about it. it it's no Giffard Fran by Durance. Get me in my French accent. I was going to say you just had this <laughs> um, it is no, It is no Giffard. <laughs> um, but it's, it, it's pretty damn decent. It's really, really good. Uh, the shaker looks... Huge. Why does that taste quite good? Julie, mealy? I want that. Well, come on then, Jules. Oh, yeah. Julie, Julie. Uh, I'll save it for you. Yeah, uh, I'll make you desserts. Where do we get to? So, well, that shaker looks huge, does it? Why, like, so, why, why does it look huge? I think it's the top bit, really. It is. And I think so it's because this one's that's bigger there, whereas. Well, it's slight, so it's slightly fatter than the. That's the one I'd use. Yeah, so it's okay. So the bottom end's slightly fatter mm, than a normal Boston. It. I might have to have a little play with that. So, yeah, so we've got plenty of crushed ice down there. Here she comes, look. Here comes. Hello. Here she comes, look. Here comes Here Julie. Come. Oh, she's coming on okay. camera as well. It's Julie. You okay. recognise her. She's done the porn star martini show. She's the one that redecorated the wall. <laughs> Come on. They're going to think that decorated is in like the. 
Oh yeah, she, she, Judy, oh. Judy literally knife? put the wallpaper up. Mm. Do you be like that? That's really good. Do you want to try? I might have to start making any them. of those. None of us have. So I've I've slipped out the straw, but no one's slipped out of anything else. So that's so that's the um because Julie is our official gin in-house gin drinker. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, gin, yeah, I've said that right. So that's the Collins. See, I found that quite strong. It's quite strong, but I mean it might have separated it more. Separated. Quite well. Yeah, and that's the French seventy-five. Mm. We we both like that one, didn't we? Oh, oh, her Wiggles little eyeballs, her, her little eyeballs <laughs> lit up then. That one is really good. Yeah. yeah. So all three of those are ones. identical, gin, lemon and sugar. And then it's just the base ingredient, the, the, the finish ingredient. So whether you're mm. going um, champagne, Prosecco, soda water or shambles, identical cocktail, that's gin. Mm. She's it. off. <laughs> Nothing to see here, Paul. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> What goes on tour on Friday stays on, stays on, no, that's wrong, isn't it? What goes, what goes, on? What goes on tour goes on Facebook. No, that's what? the written rule. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't. I would guess. Well, no one uses Facebook these days, so. You know, I'm a bit. Why. So, uh, that's where we got to in the comments. That's fine. So, um, do you want to carry on with the gin cocktails? Got a couple more. Are you kind of, are you, oh, can do. Are you enjoying the gin journey? Of course I am. Good. Good, good, I good. like making cocktails. The gin journey. So, uh, the next one we're going to do is the bee's knees, which is... Uh, a very, very, very simple. Uh, pick yeah, your I'll pick your weapon. <laughs> pick your weapon of choice. A glass what? of choice. Oh. It's a very what? small, and all I would say is it's uh, a traditionally kind of a, like a martini coupe serve, but it's small. Oh, I have just the thing. She has just the thing here. <laughs> we both go on camera. You know what? I actually don't There's know. Nothing if I to do. see. <laughs> I'm off screen before anything looks dodgy. By the way. <laughs> what is? That's a coupe glass. That's. Uh, what are we thinking? Yeah. I mean, I just like the set of it, but, yeah, well, but I have, I, I'm not going to lie, I don't actually know where it's from. That's okay. the only problem that we have. I so don't know where. I know exactly what that's called, and I've forgotten. Uh, well, yeah. Michel, Mi I know exactly what it's Michel, called. Uh, no, it's not the Michelangelo. I've forgotten what it's called now. I've got two of them, because it's got the black stem one. They're black, based on the... It'll come okay. to me in a minute. I've got D in my head. We're, wait, we're waiting for Laura to come flying yeah, in. It's called <laughs> this. <laughs> so, uh, so, which was your yeah, favourite cocktail that. shaker? Which cocktail shaker are we going for? Um, it was the pr pr is that the, the first right, one or the, 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 the last one? The first one. I the didn't like the last one, but that was just because it was a bit difficult for me to shake okay, it because so it was um, so quite big. This ingredients for this. This is even simpler. Okay, we are swapping out the sugar syrup for honey syrup, and all that is, my humble assistant. Where is it? It's down here. Do you want honey? All that is is that honey because I got that in a twenty-five pound haul. Uh, it's two parts honey and uh, one part hot water, and that's all that is to make a honey syrup. So we've got honey, we've obviously got uh, more lemon. Did you use both lemons last time? Uh, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. So we've got lemon and then gin. Now, that's classics, you there. could argue that it's all about the base gin because we're letting the honey, honey and gin do the work. But yeah. you know what, you could go a little bit crazy. You could use a flavoured gin. It's completely and utterly up to you. I think that Laura might like this. I potentially might go the slow gin, actually. Slow gin and honey. Oh, okay. Because that gin has got honey. Laura, then. Yeah. So we're going for... The um, slow gin. I think... Is it, does it need a little shake? I'll, I'll just give it... A little, just little shake. I don't know. A little off. shake. Um, so I this is kind much. of like a, a slow bee's knees, if you like. Okay, so the bee's knees is just gin, lemon and honey. That's all it is. Uh, and me personally, I would have picked a Nick and Nora glass. I was trying to say like a martini... Uh, coupe glass but small but she went for the coupe glass so you know do we, you want to change we've it? got a little bit of training to do but she's good do you know what <laughs> you're gonna mind let's swap it <laughs> not, we, we go for a little here, little nick and nora serve whichever which i'm not going to point you in a direction but there's three or four we'll nick and nora's there do, we? we're going for that one i do like that that's classy and nick it and nora is. nick and nora's are my favorite glasses i love nick and nora's glasses. do you know what i was about to say does anyone know where the nick and nora glass comes from but where's it come from do you know what i researched it the other day but i have forgotten slightly come on because i ain't got a clue you can no, make it I up i forgot this is the problem just make it up no one will know because i don't know <laughs> um where's it come from it's a guy oh called I nick can't. yeah there's yeah, nick was and he nora. married to nora i don't nora know nora's his sister does anybody so of, know but it was a bit of incest we've got a question oh i like the question what movie cocktail would you create a stum the stumbling bee. Hang on, what? Which movie cocktail? Which movie cocktail would you create? I don't know many movie cocktails actually. I don't watch. Tim, the one thing, Tim, Damo, 
The one thing you've got to learn about me is I can't sit still. I don't do movies or films like that. I need two, at least two, if not three streams of input, input at the same time. I can't handle just going to the cinema and just watching a film. I can watch films at home, but then I'll be doing something else. So I do like films, but I don't know. The only ones that stick in my head are the James Bond things. I can't think of any other cocktails. I can't even think what was in cocktail. Uh, well, obviously, the what was in cocktail? The It'll come to me. I'm not good on the spot. There's a comment coming in. Melissa. Do I was trying to, to read it. I couldn't. I was like. Izzy, can we make the slow bee's knees, right? Can we make the slow bee's knees if it is nice with the slow gin that we made last, win last yeah, winter? Yeah, I was speaking about the slow gin that we make. Yes. I did say it. So, so, we so this it. is the rehearsal run. Yeah. For tonight. If I remember right. how to okay. do it. I'm so. sure I will. I'm so. sure we've got honey and so. stuff. Uh, exactly the same thing again. Okay. I so 25 ml of lemon, yeah. 15 ml of honey. You could adjust the honey to taste. Bear in mind, slow gins will be a little bit sweeter anyway than Hang normal on. gin. All the way to the top with the yeah. lemon. Yeah. Oh, I'm making a right mess. Oh, oh this, is, this, this one's a bit tougher. This, oh. The red. oh, did you see that? I've squeezed it so hard because I'm that strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's come out of the bottom. Yeah, the, re the red eye was... Um, uh, beer, egg, uh, spices, was it? We're going to um, need a bit more. Was it Tabasco and uh, something else in it as well? I'm sure it's Tabasco. Oh. But I forget what the red eye was. Brian, wasn't it? It was Co Coughlin's Law. That's still got some right. squeeze left in it. 20, so 25 so minutes. 25 yeah. and then 15, which is yeah, up to 15. the third now line. Bear in mind, you know, you can always add more sugar to drinks to sweeten them up. You yeah. can't detract sugar. Yeah. So if it does need more sugar at the end, just And how add do we more. tell if someone likes their cocktail sweet or sour? We find out if they like sugar in their tea or coffee. <laughs> Star people. Star people. <laughs> you know what? Is this all I'm here for me? I'm joking. It's like I walk around the office. Go, do you, do you, do you take sugar in the in your tea and coffee? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now this could even go. You know, I've just used oh, I Sainsbury's. Is it? I don't even think it's tasted different. It's just Sainsbury's honey. It's just honey. like eighty nine p honey. If you went, if you got proper honey that was like five, six, seven pounds, and made honey, it's going to taste completely and utterly different. So even <laughs> the honey, the type of honey, will kind of add to this cocktail as well. Uh, so then a double. double. I don't know how strong that is actually. Thirty four. It's decent strength. And I'm really Thank sorry, Wrecking Coast. Fine. I know this is two years old. Um, just giving I'm really it a little sorry. I'm just not a massive gin drinker. So I'm, I'm slowly bringing in all my gins to, to here. Uh, it smells good, though. Like it's, so this is it, like a honey and slow it gin. It literally smells like Christmas, and I like that. So a double bubble of Hang that. On, I might just, that might make it. Oh, God. I'm going to put the Prosecco back in the old fridge you really Oh, oh, God. Oh, I heard, <laughs> I heard a spillage then. What <laughs> happened then? <laughs> um... Do you know what? Just for that reason, I might have to... Laura, I hope what, you're walking what, home. What, how, <laughs> how did that happen? I just got a bit too excited. I just basically, I just went like that and just chucked it a bit. So you missed it? No, I didn't miss it. I <laughs> chucked it. <laughs> the difference. My hands are covered, but you know what? I'm That's having good. fun. So okay. ice, 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 ice. What's that? Oh, I'm the sort of the same. I just can't sit around doing something. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ADHD, but I think I sort of am a little bit ADHD. I don't know. I don't know. I just, right. I just, I'll, I'm the sort of guy that will be at home. I'll have the TV on. I'll have music on, and I'll be working at the same time. I've literally, uh, that's how I am. When I'm editing videos, I've got the audio from the video. I've got a podcast on, and probably the TV with football on in the background or something like that. Crazy. Right, go on. Proper Willie. This is your one to impress Bano. Face gun down the camera. Come on, you, you come on. This is your fault one now. No, I'm not doing those stupid things. I'm just not really. Odd. Well, create your own shape. If you were in a bar, if you were like, this is your like, how are you going to impress Melissa tonight? Because my cooking oh, skills. But that's not. Come on, that's a feeble shape. Come on, proper welly. Do you think it's safe to shake with one hand? Yeah, if you've got if your those two finger guns and your thumb are strong you know enough. I play the piano, so I can actually yes. stretch my hands pretty Ooh. far. So. That's okay. See, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I, don't think. I just shake it like that a little bit. I, and could, I could kind of shake it like that. Like a little double. Oh, We're like a little team. So when it's when it's proper that proper ice cold, cold, right? This is definitely a double strain job. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I made the mistake last time of not double straining, and I should have done. I'm just gonna wash this down. Mm. Long nails, can't. I think I, I can smell the slow gin. 
Oh. Nice berry notes. Can you smell that? That's lovely sort of berry notes. See, look, look at that. Perfect for the old Nick and Nora. Perfect. How lovely. There you go. Honey is one of my favourite, <laughs> favourite sweeteners. I like that. Oh. The amount of times <laughs> I've done that, I won't worry. Back in the, the, amount of, the amount of times I've sent this little boy flying. Oh, I quite like my, those. My fat bum that goes behind there. So this is the bee's knees. I need another glass. Who is who is uh, who's made the bee's knees before? Who likes the bee's knees? So I'm stealing more cocktail. Oh dear. Oh, see that's a little bit tart. Might need to add. I don't know. Might, I'm, I'm thinking Ooh. maybe a little bit more honey in there. That's heartburn in a glass. <laughs> what do we think, Laura? It is quite strong. I, I think we need. I think we need more honey in that, person. Yeah. Yeah. We Some need more. I mean, I've done this before, so I get it. <laughs> I mean, I did spill half I, of it and then I, tried to I, put it up. I think the. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve didn't. I was trying to like. I was like, just, oh. Just try that back in there, and I know. I'll give it a professional shape for you. I wouldn't quite go that far. It's really hard. I'm not sure. I've never done that. Yeah. Whoa, man down. Cool, all these glasses. Come here. It's a bit warm in here, Steve. Maybe you should put the aircon on. Where's she gone? Magicals. Right. See, you got a bit of like a froth on top there. Wrist action. I didn't. Yeah, but it, oh, it, see, it that's is better. Though. Just that little extra five, ten mil. Yeah. yeah. That little extra bit. So, there, Melissa, if you're watching, it's Melissa, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Remind her a little bit of extra honey. Or you could just use plain sugar, to be fair, but honey, it's not going to be a bee's Ooh. knees, but do we like that? See, it's better, isn't it now? It is nice though. Which one was yours? Hmm? Was that yours? That was yours, wasn't it? No, I've no, I finished mine. The third one. Yeah, you took it on the I did I? Yeah. Okay. Happy days. Cool. Nice. She's there. So we've got one more. What's the time? Come on, plumbing here, look. It's the longest show. Look, it's like ten past three. Is it? Yeah. Oh wow. See if Paul shut up. See if, <laughs> like, see if we stay here till five o'clock, see if <laughs> <laughs> What other day, mate? Actually, I used to have that luxury as well. I do like the look of them shakers. I'm, kind of, I'm slowly coming around to, to, <coughs> to the prison. I don't know. Do you know I just think they're a bit easier for me. Yeah. So we're going back to that. So uh, the final, final cocktail then we're going to do is the gin sour. Oh, see, this is the one that I actually really wanted to do because I've recently liked the taste of sour. You did a, made it sour the other day. I did. I made an amaretto sour. Yeah, I like that. Other day for you. So a gin shower. Nice. A gin, gin shower. A gin shower. A gin shower. A gin sour <laughs> is virtually the same again. So gin, pick your gin of choice. But any gin. Any you know gin, what? because this would obviously go into flavoured sours territory now as well. Is this a bit controversial? Watermelon and kiwi. No. I really want to try this. Bang gin. on. Bang I on. Really want to try it. Bang so on. I'm so, going to. Uh, let me start one out. So, uh, gin, lemon, and sugar. It's quite. Pink we obviously we obviously don't out. use uh, an egg white uh, because we're drink stuff and we like to promote this. Uh, but if if the, if the Steve the barman is here, we don't use egg white anyway because egg white is too much faff. Uh, so I never use egg whites anyway. So we're using the miracle foamers. Not gonna lie, I have always wanted to use these. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, and then Angostura bitters. Can I guess what we're gonna do? Go on. Are we gonna shake this before we add ice? Dry shake, yeah. Yeah, dry shake it. That's yeah, the yeah. word. That is the correct word. So we're gonna, we're now gonna yeah, test your shaking skills. I have been paying because, attention to your video. <laughs> I know because so this is your shaking skills because yeah. the pressure will build up. Then this is going to be slightly different because you're going to okay. have because of the foam you're going to have air pressure in your shaker, right. which will be trying to force those apart. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This Even could worse get, when you use egg. This could get interesting. Even worse when you use an egg. So right. same thing. It's the last. Oh, I did that well. Look, it's the last lemon. So you, you want get a lot? Oh, we have got limes. Yeah, I've got plenty of limes. So I mean, is it a bit cheeky to say and do the 
Pour Star Martini challenge or is that You could do the Pour Star Martini challenge if you want. Only if people want to stay around for it. Like, you if, know, if, if, you wanna see, if you want to see Izzy. Beat my time. Uh, beat her time. Oh. Same again, by the way. Uh, that. I did this differently this time. Uh, I kind of did it on a, a see through background. See, oh, it does kind of work. That's all right. I wanted to try it. I just wasn't very impressed that I. I'm second from bottom. Second from bottom. We'll give you I another chance. I just think I can we'll, do better. We'll give you another chance. I'm not, it doesn't have I'm not to be demonstrating. Today. We're running out of time, but. No, no. Um, so, 25 mil. Oh, hang on. Let's get rid of the old porn star. Yeah, people think I'm doing that. But that don't look like the porn star challenge. Oh, that hurt on that. Go on, muscle it out, Dave. 20 mil. That's fine. You don't look at me. So. <laughs> 25 mil of lemon juice. Again, same thing. 15 mil of sugar syrup. All right, which is that thing in there. Yep, so 15 of that. Squeeze. Guess, guess how much gin? A double bubble. Double bubble. <laughs> double bubbles. Favourite word. Double bubbles. There we go. Oh, you've not got much of that left. I know. Do they not sell this in, as it's limited It's edition? still out, I think, actually. Even though it is autumn, I haven't heard, because I'm not doing gin stuff on my channel anymore. I haven't been in contact. I don't well, know whether they've got look, different, different flavours coming out for we're autumn, a bit winter. Empty. I quite uh, like them, though. 45 seconds on the horizon. Oh, yeah. Tim, Tim, you're backing yourself for, for Izzy to get 45 seconds. Do you know what I have been practising? And I, <laughs> I'm i going to say this now, and it's going to go really, really wrong, yeah. but so you got, one half. You got, you've got your sugar in there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you've got so that. So... So doesn't really matter which order, to be fair. I'm going to put these things there. So I protect, have you used that's Angostura bitters so nice. before? Have you Do drunk you know I definitely have. I must have drunk it because I'm I wouldn't go three made. dashes to start off with. This is your first experience. I would go two because Ooh. you'll have a decent idea then. So does it literally? Yeah. So the thing with Angostura bitters. Can you do a thing? Ooh. Yeah, that. <laughs> that. If you're doing that at home. Don't do that. And you've got marble <laughs> worktop or anything. Don't do that at home. Okay, you've really got to commit. I'll, I'll do it in a different one. So, you've really got to commit I to mean, the dash with that. Oh, I did get it. Because if, if you slightly pour, they'll come flying out there and it will just stain your marble worktop. So, if you're at home, commit to the dash. Let's one, two, like that. Clear up a little bit. Right. And now your foamers, your miracle foamers. Six to eight drops. Yep. <laughs> Hang on, let me get a good protector. A good. One, two. Three, four, seven, eight. Perfect. Right. Went for the full amount, obviously. The full amount. Eight drops. So you need to do a dry shake this time. So a dry shake is without ice. Mm -hmm. But you knew that. Yes, I did. Mm. Where's water? Right, that's on. So a proper shake. Yeah. That's it. Oh, God, it's all coming out the sides. Yeah. You pick it. Oh, see, we've done oh, the Parisian shake. shake. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's here's the <laughs> Here's the first downfall of I'm the sorry. Parisian shaker. Hang on. I'm just a bit soaked. Parisian okay. shakers don't like egg white cocktails. Interesting. Oh my god, it's bubbling out the sides. This is not what we wanted. <laughs> See, I didn't know that was going to happen. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I didn't know that was going to happen. Right, I think that's probably about yeah, enough. Yeah, so nice and frothy. So Can then I open we want, it? Yep. Yeah, it makes it harder to open as well, actually. Very, and very frothy. And now we want ice in there. I shouldn't have worn my ring. Getting through the ice. Nice. Ice, ice. Oh, you can never have too okay. much ice. Never have too much ice. Right. And we're going again. And now, see, you can see now, this is Ooh. where the pressure comes. So Look. you've really got a two hand, hold it hard, two hands, and give it proper. <laughs> X ray. Oh, that, that one deserves a bit of love. What? <laughs> that, that deserves a bit of love. Explosion. Right, I think we're ready. Right. Oh my god, we didn't pick a glass. We didn't pick a glass. Quickly. Sours can go in them, they can go in rocks glasses over ice, they can go in any gonna... glass you feel that you want to use. I'm pretty I... happy with any. I mean I quite like Ah, oh, do you know what? I'd like that one, please. This one? This thank you. So that will get served over ice. So you can do a shake and dump for this to be fair. Okay, I could do that. Or then. you can do fresh ice, it's completely up to you. Look at that. Look at the froth on that. Boom. It's a bit too frothy, isn't it? <laughs> but that, like, they're so separate. Oh, that looks really cool through there. 
Wow. Happy days. And that's a gin sour. So what did we do? We did watermelon and kiwi, didn't we? Yeah, so I'm going to taste it with my straw. Yeah. And then garnish for that, you know, literally lemon, orange, cherry. Oh, that's nice. Do we like that? Do you know what? It reminds me of a milkshake, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> milkshake. I quite like it. Mm. I'm going to have a little sample. Hang on. Finish my bee's knees. Mm. So what? I don't think I've had a watermelon and nice. kiwi gin sour. Excuse me. Oh, it is quite strong though, but then I'd, sometimes I'm a bit funny with strong cocktails, aren't a bit I? Of froth. Oh, I like that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, watermelon and kiwi. I think I created something. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good. Like the egg white will do exactly the same thing, but that just gives it that sort of lovely velvety like kind of smooth cuddles mm. oh, I like that. cuddles cuddles <laughs> gives you cuddles, cuddles inside in a glass so what's your out the five that's really nice I'll get my yeah five back. out the five rank them in order well all right let's do, it different. let's do it a different way right, no, which one would you pack all right if you can rank them in order i was going to say which one the french 75 was really nice yeah i think that probably was one of my favorites and then this one i didn't like the honey Honey one, bees, bees knees. knees. I didn't like that as much, but That's then I right. think that's... Needed a bit more. Yeah, I think it just sure. needs a bit more. And then probably... That one's oh no, this one went before the bees knees. And then, yeah. the, oh, but the bramble was actually nicer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So I'd give that... So which one would you order? Bear in mind, you know, they're I all going to be slightly different. Which would you order in a restaurant, bar, whatever you're going out of? One of these two. Sour or I like, the thing is, I like the glass of this. So I wouldn't necessarily order a sour when I was out. But I might drink this at home more than mm. this. So I, I don't know, I'm covered in... You, you clean yourself <laughs> up, uh, I'll, I'll do this, we'll and then challenge. to finish off, we'll do the Porn Star Martini Challenge. I'll beat my time of, of how long? five and a half minutes, what no, was your time? it was two minutes <laughs> something. So we're going, we're, going for, we're going for a thingy. Right, right. so you do that. I, didn't, uh, I was just too busy drinking. You dry yourself up there. I've got all the ingredients ready to go. All the water's gone cold. That's that, that's that, that's that. We want a bit of that, we want a bit of that. So vanilla. So, I've got a brand new Rubicon today. Do you know what? I need to get some of that because I'm planning on making some corn some martinis this week. Brand new Rubicon. Uh, do you want to get a lime ready? Yeah. Uh, Have you got a knife in here for them then? Uh, it's just down there, done. Where? Oh, um, there. Did I get one of passion fruit? There's one there, but it, oh, the puree. Did I get one out? Yeah. Oh, look, it's just How's it going? Oh, it's there, right in front of me. Uh, see, just done it again. You made that. Well done. One, two, three. And Do I might have to take some of these cocktails home in a flask. <laughs> and your lime. So, I can't remember. Did you have, you didn't, that was something. No, I said, you, basically, yeah. I'll take off all the lids and that made me quicker and yeah. it made me slow well. Right. It didn't make me slow so well. So, you can. Right. Have we got, I've got more ice. Have you so got your stopwatch or do we need Laura? I've, I've got my stopwatch. Okay. Where does the lime go in on all of this? It does, it, it, well, order, no, order wise, it doesn't actually matter, but, but it, it goes, so it's the half part. So it can go, so it can two, go, one, it can go before two, or after the one half, half, one, two. Yeah. Okay, we've got so this. You need to pick your Gonna. glass as well. Oh, yeah. So that, that, I think they're I just used behind my you. Yeah. Glass, didn't you've, got, you've got Pete Tong, or you've got, they're just behind you, the porn star glasses down there. Oh, oh I've got a choice. Oh. Oh, do you know what I am going to do in this one? Because I just think it looks nice, you know. So, so you've got Pete Tong, or you've got a nice scoop. Oh, which are you going for? Uh, what's quicker? Scoop. Well, I'd say scoop's probably quicker. Scoop's quicker. So do you want the scoop in there? You know, you do. You Hang do. on. Cool. <laughs> we like what she's done there. So you're you're happy. You're set. One, two, Don't three, you four, five, really five six. Again. Okay. I'll take the, that's go. all shaken, that's all shaken, that's got a decent amount in there, the lid's on there properly so you can squeeze. I'm really you got scared. Ice. Wait. So, the time <laughs> was, oh, hang on, hang I on, hang on. Right, Just then. so we get the highlights real. And then we'll know my Graphics, time. Uh, there, show, and I've just dropped something okay, on the Okay, so last time, two minutes, 12. I've got, do you know what? If you don't, if you don't. Well, obviously I'm gonna beat it, because I did two If you don't smash time, 45 stupid. seconds off this, I, I would not be disappointed. I'll I'm be shocked. I'm actually so scared. Wait, where's my time? 
That was very close. Oh God. I'll be I'll be shocked. I, I I'm think I it. think you're going to smash this now because you're you've been here for an hour. You're comfortable. You've been shaking. I'm really nervous. I'm more nervous right. for this than I was last time. Right. Are you ready? Can I start holding it or is that a bit? Right, yeah. Right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there she, oh, she's, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, I'm swearing. That's really not good. Oh. Okay, I didn't get up to the third line, but. That's all right, that's all right. That's, that's right. not my fault, that's. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, my God, this the is silence, good. It's the concentration. It is the concentration. I don't, I don't want to say anything. I mean, you used way too much sugar syrup there, oh, but there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I didn't. You did. You did I? Shot. I did that last time, so there I'm making go. a right so mess of this. Your ice. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a mess. Plenty of ice. There we go. And it's got, it's got to finish with the froth. Quickly, give me a shot. <laughs> oh, I'm making a right mess of this. It's got to be frothy. It's got to be frothy. So when you're happy that it's frothy, you go for it. how desperate I am to win. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, my We've heart We've got the froth. We've got the froth. Oh, it's not as brilliant as I wanted it to be, though. And we're done. Oh, you can't even see it on oh. Instagram. Oh. There we go. So, where would you Ooh. be happy on there? That bear in is mind, scary. Like, bear in That's mind, Julie and Paul have good. absolutely no froth at oh. all. And I wouldn't be happy selling it. I wouldn't sell it. Oh, I would. Sell I would sell it. that. I would serve that would up. You? Yeah, I would. I would. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so <laughs> apart from the fact it's going to be too sweet because you put a whole shot of flipping vanilla sugar in there. And oh, yeah, hang on, two, one half. Up. No, I didn't do a full shot. You did. You did. Oh, but the, the replay will show. Okay, the replay will maybe show. I did. So what time would you be happy with? I think it took me about one minute twenty-five seconds. Would you be happy with that I at this point? I mean, I would be happy, but I do kind of want it to beat Paul. So if I said one minute Not 30 good. something. Oh, really? Did I beat Lydia? So would you be happy with one minute 30? I mean, 30? to be honest, I think I said yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 120.78. Oh my God, that's all right, isn't <laughs> that's it? That's all right. So bearing in mind, they didn't get any froth. They didn't, that you know. That's right. There you go. One, one, <laughs> one twenty seventy eight. I am very proud of myself, and I'm going to take my point for making this. Boom, boom. Hang on, I'm going to taste it as well. Mm. Yeah, you're right, it is very vanilla -y. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't mind that, I like it. That's cool, isn't it? Nice. There we go, well done. So well, I'll, there we go, that's all I wanted put, to do. I'll put your second <laughs> score up there. Because technically, yeah. because we've got to discuss, when we go through this, mm. and we will come over to DDC as well, uh, well, I'll pre-record lots, of, <laughs> lots of the guys over in uh, Mildenhall, uh, so we can just roll them out in the Porn Star Martini mm. Challenge. So we've got lots more people to cover, there's just not many people in the office on Fridays. Um. So we've got to kind of work out what sort of, not fine, but what sort of time adjustments we need to make for Julie and Paul. Because there's it no depends, froth, you know. So we've got to kind of watch back. Yeah. We've got to have a whole re-watching of the I thing. I think what, the best way, the fair way to do it would be to basically say, if you're, how long does it take to get a good froth? And then work it out from that. Well, you see, I can, I can do that in five seconds. All right. Well, <laughs> let's say then a normal person who's not like ten, a bartender. Ten, ten to twelve seconds. Okay. Oh yeah, because you say shake ten to twelve yeah, seconds we every cocktail. Okay, so we'll add a ten to twelve second penalty then. Okay. I think that's so, fair then. If it's so that's what ten seconds would still put boss a second ahead of you. I mean. And ten seconds would put Judy still. But I'm sure there was something else about Paul that we said that we were. <laughs> 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 he needed a um, time penalty for. I can't remember what it was though. Uh, what were we saying? I love what? Hang on, what's? I love the blue notes under Julie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have literally spilled. Blue notes. I usually all just up my ex arm. Uh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> right. Uh, on that note, I don't know how long we've been going for. It's like an hour and a half. It's a good show. We've Ooh. still got plenty of people on watching. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for on Instagram. We've got. We've got. <laughs> four. We've got four on an Instagram. Yeah, it's been going up and down because I've been trying to pay attention, yeah. but I can't quite see who is watched. Instagram. But Instagram, you should come over to uh, YouTube. Yeah, but yeah, that's it for this week. I will plan over the weekend and Monday what we're doing next week. Another kind of cocktail masterclass type thing. We may have Izzy back on. We may not have Izzy. It was Aww. quite fun. Let us know what you thought. <laughs>
the, the tandem show. Does it work? I mean, we don't have I, to do it every I mean, week. It flipping well works. It's good fun, to be fair. But, you know, <laughs> we shall see. So, uh, sleep time. Thanks. Oh, are you working tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick you. Huh? Like, someone's really bored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Claire I has think, had enough. I didn't think we were that bad, but hey. <laughs> cool. Uh, right, yeah, so that's it for this week. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you next Friday. Toodaloo. Bye.